hello guys you're yeah, welcome back to my channel this is sim and stitches again all right on today's tutorial we are going to be making the rose petal sleeve yes this our popular petal sleeves that was worn by vicky james so we are going to be recreating it using the pattern drafting trust me this is one of the easiest method you will know on how to make this you know how we do it here we don't get keep information okay let's go now we're going to be drafting a basic sleeve pattern i already have a video on how to do this so you can go through my page and watch the video on how to draft a basic sleeve pattern so i drafted out the cap height using the length and the ham hole i folded the paper using my ham hole measurement and I drafted the length of the sleeves. So the sleeve is going to be reaching my wrist. So that was what I used here. You can see that the paper is on fold. So you can also make yours to be on fold. Then after that, I went ahead to mark my cap height. And I also indicate where my ham hole was going to stop. So I added one inch to my ham hole. That is why you have that extra allowance at the side. So the ham hole is actually nine. So I added one inch to it to make it 10 inches. So I, I marked out the one inch to indicate where the ham hole actually stops. All right. So right after that, I'm going to be marking the round sleeve, the round sleeve at the wrist level so my round sleeve was 4.5 i added one inch for same allowance so that is um that makes it 5.5 then i indicated my elbow line my elbow line is 12 inches so i marked that elbow line area right over there so i indicated it on a straight line now i'm going to be connecting this line it's on this elbow line i'm going to be marking my round elbow divided by two as you can see that we have the paper on fold. So whatever measurement we are having here is going to be divided by two. Now, this was what I did. So I marked out the midpoint. I indicated where the center of my cap height was because I need that part for me to be able to draft out the curved um, part of the cap height area. So after indicating, I, I noted the midpoint of that part also. You know, this all this thing I did, I already have the full tutorial, very explicit and easy tutorial on how to draft the sleeve pattern. I wouldn't want to bore you with that. So you can please go ahead and watch or at the same time, just carefully watch as I do this. All right, guys. Now I'm going to be drafting out the front armhole from the back armhole using the same pattern. That is why it is expedient that you watch that tutorial. Okay, so after indicating where the front armhole and the back armhole, I'm just going to add the lines together. Like I'm going to be joining the round sleeve lines as I've marked together. You can see what I did there. So I used my um, curved ruler to join them together. And after marking, I went ahead to cut out the pattern. So I cut out the shape and trim out the excesses on the side. Now we have our sleeve pattern. So this sleeve is like the basic sleeve that can be altered to give you whatsoever kind of sleeve you want to make. All right, guys. So I indicated the front and the back in order not to be get confused. Now I cut out the SS part of the front. To give me that hollow that depth that you have at the front of your um basic basic top pattern so i indicated it at that armhole side now our sleeve is ready to be used for this project you can see how it's made it is very simple and easy to make as long as you follow the step and the procedure now i went on to spread my fabric 
this is the fabric i'm going to be using so i went on to spread it on buyers so it is very important that you spread it on buyers folding so this is what i did now that point where you have your triangle that point where you have the buyers unfold at the pointed angle that is what where we're going to be using now you carefully place your pattern see what i'm doing you carefully place your pattern such that the middle or the center part of the pattern is is diagonal towards the triangle part this is what i did here can you see the way i placed my pattern you can decide to choose any other arm um, any angle either any and either the left or the right part as long as it is giving you the triangular shape because it's that triangular shape that we need for this petal so this is what we are doing because you know that triangular shape is going to be folded to give us that rose effect so that is what i did now i also went on to indicate the elbow points you remember the elbow points that we marked while we were drafting the sleeve pattern so this is where i'm going to be stopping with the folding on the rose so that was why i indicated it on my paper and also on the fabric now the next thing you're going to be doing is from the base of your sleeve that is from the wrist side you're going to be marking it um one inch by the that midpoint you mark out one inch which is going to be your joining allowance you can see what i'm doing there you mark it out that one inch it is very important that you mark it out because they're going to be cutting it through so if you cut it through that means that there is a you need a part where you're going to be using to join the uh, midpoint together so that was what i went on to do there see what i'm doing you just go ahead and do your own like this as well guys we are almost done with this cutting see i'm so excited for this sleeve because you know initially when you see this sleeve, you feel like oh this is um what are we going to do it's kind of somehow confusing but then i watched the video where I saw that oh this is origami yes remember how we did origami in 2020 so the knowledge of origami is what we are applying here so the ss fabric is going to be folded to give you that sleeve all right guys so we go on and then we cut out the ss and we are done hmm, just like that guys we are done now when you're marking don't forget to indicate where your sleeve stops because that is where you're going to be stopping your sewing as well so indicate where the sleeve stops and also you can go ahead and hold this down with a pen so that it won't scatter or look somehow funny to you so as long as you are able to identify each point go ahead and do that and i'm just trying to demonstrate what i just cut here for you so i went on to pin it all through and i folded it now the folding part here that's what i'm talking about that it is the bulgy triangular part we're going to be folding to give us our rose petal yes guys just like that we are almost done and see how it came out so so nice it came out so lovely and beautiful and it's so easy to do all right guys now to the sewing part so i went on to apply um an interfacing because the fabric i'm using is a bit soft so you actually need a fabric that has a kind of strong firm texture but not too strong of course you only need something that has a bit of structure that can be folded or bended or can be manipulated so this fabric i used is a bit light it's very lightweight so i need something to give it you know structure and heaviness that is why i am adding an interfacing if you are using a cutting a full cutting um fabric you might not need to do this so that is um that's just an option all right so i laid in my interfacing and i went on to join from those lines that i'm touching the part where the wrist reaches the elbow and the part where the angle folds in so i'm going to be joining at the top i'm going to be joining and then i indicated it now i took it to the sewing machine and i have already joined it guys i have joined it and my sleeve is ready Tada! just like that your sleeve is also ready so I also went on to turn it out. After you have sewn it inside, you turn it from the wrong side to the right side. And then I placed it on my ironing board. I ironed out the angles because I didn't want it to have any crease or folding. Now, it is very important for you to iron out the angles especially. Because by the time you are done, you know, with your sleeve, you will discover that if you did not iron it out, 
it's going to be having a fold or a bulging and it will be so obvious everyone will see that oh something is wrong at this point you don't want that happening to you so just go ahead place it on your steamed press iron and iron it out iron out the angles you can also also turn it to the wrong side and iron the inside seam flat yes i think that's a uh, flat seam ironing was what helped me at this angle so i notched that point there's a point where you have to notch i notched and i ironed it flat you can see what i'm doing there please you to go ahead and do it don't don't feel lazy this is just very very important at this point so you notch out that angle so that it will spread open and it will be flat so you iron it out by the time you are done ironing guys you will appreciate that you did because the angle will not fold it's not going to be have any crease it's going to lay flat and going to you know come out nice on your design all right so just go ahead and do that as well and then guys i couldn't wait i couldn't hold my excitement i just had to show you guys how it's going to come out by the time i'm done arranging and sewing this sleeve so it's just about um creativity you have you have to just design it yourself using your hand you're going to be folding it inside out to give you that round rows the petals the board everything that comes with this design it depends on how you want to arrange you can make it you know give it different design you can give it different you know style it just depends on how creative you can be just go ahead and do that now one thing that i actually love about this design is that you can actually twist this folding you know like i told you now the method that was used here is origami method so you can actually twist this folding to to create whatsoever design that you want i can decide tomorrow that oh i don't want it to have this rose petal design i want another shape of rose aligning so you can just do that now all right so while i was done with the um the outside part i need to um cut out the lining okay because it's going to be having a rough um edge at the inside so i just needed to cover it up with a lining so i went on to cut my lining using the same fabric that i've used now look at what i did i stopped exactly where the triangle be begins where that triangle for the petal begins that was where i stopped so i placed my fabric on fold and I cut out the shape of my sleeve, stopping at the from the midpoint. I stopped where the triangle begins, and for the length, I stopped at my elbow point. Yes, it is very important. Uh, however, you can actually make it a full lining, but I didn't want it to be a full lining, and that was why I did this. I just wanted to cover up the part where there's an insoing, the rough edges. I want the inside of this sleeve to be as neat as the outside part and with that guys we have come to the end of this tutorial as you can see i told you that it's very easy to make now look at my sleeve come on look at this sleeve it's looking so lovely and beautiful so while i was done sewing the shirt i went on to hold it in with a pin okay so then i used hand needle to tack it together so i used my hand needle to tuck it together to hold it and i carefully aligned and arranged the foldings depending on what i want so this was what i want you can also go ahead and do whatever design that you want so i tagged it with my hand and it came out so nice so guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial it is at this point that you subscribe if you haven't subscribed like comment share this video and come on guys i'm going to come back again with an interesting design. Bye!